Okay, we're going to make a uh, one inch OD tubing bend on a um, one inch OD by three tube die. Uh, first, you uh, we have to insert the uh, form die in the bender. We're going to pull the hydraulic pin and we're going to set the form die on between the frames on the 20B center frame slides right in. And we're going to be doing the bend hydraulically, so we'll repin the hydraulic cylinder right away. Now when you do this, the uh, back blocks go in the, ma go in the main frame, they're all stamped with the three-quarter hole that they go in, and when we do tubing, we always uh, count to three-quarter inch holes. So well, this one goes in the fourth hole, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, into the fourth hole it goes. Now we're going to insert our tube into the die between the back block and the form die. You insert your tube like so, and you give her a little twist, and things lock up. You can't pull it through. I'm pulling on that, and that will pull through. Okay, the next thing that we do is we grease our draw block. So we put a little grease, put a little grease on this guy. What that does is keep your tube from binding to the cast iron of the draw block, because it does heat up a little bit, and it will bind and gall. And Wreck your draw, it'll take care, it won't wreck your draw block, but it'll cut down on the life of your draw block. So now we're going to insert this into the third three quarter hole of the swinging frame, and all the draw blocks are stamped top and the hole that they go in. So we're going to count back three holes, and the first hole is hidden underneath the swinging frame here, so we can't, or main frame, so we can't forget to count one, two, three. And it goes. And you can see all the, all the, uh, all the pins fit finger free. Everything's loose. I can actually turn that. I can actually turn that pin in there, so that's the way it should fit. Then we come around here and we're going to turn our hydraulic unit on. Hydraulic unit on. Here we go. We're going to extend the hydraulic cylinder all the way to the first to the first pin. Then what we have to do is we have to retract the retract the cylinder and go into the next stop of the ratchet bar. So with that, we retract the cylinder, hold on to the swinging frame, grab the handle, slide it into the stop, and away you go. Now our next uh, bend here is we can do, we, sometimes we can go more than one stop. So we went two stops on that one all the way. We're going to be making a 90 degree bend here. So we're going to come around and we've got, you can pick the foot pedal up and move it anywhere you want. We're going to go to the last stop. Right now we hit the last stop. Come all the way around. 90 degree. A little over, actually that's a little over 90 degree bend. We're going to retract the cylinder. We're going to push everything back to start. Take the draw block out. Look at your bend and there's a uh, 1 inch OD, 3 inch centerline radius uh, bend on some 16 gauge one inch OD tubing.